Hello and welcome to Hot Money on Bloomberg Quint Live, India's first digital live streaming business news service. This is a show which gives you a complete wrap of all the stocks that are buzzing in trade. I'm Darshan Mehta. Let's welcome our experts then Lancelot Dikuna of ValueX, Dharmesh Kant of India Anyway Securities and Sangeet Lakhtar of Newberry Capital join me on the show. Many thanks to my guests for joining me. Today on Hot Money, we will ask our experts if the rally in HUL will continue or not. We talk about, uh, we're in the midst of the earnings season, almost a fag end. We're talking about one result that surprised them on the positive side or the negative side. We asked them their pick from the consumer tech space from a long-term point of view. And we are talking about some of the counters, you know, like an IRCTC or an India Mart or an Apple, which have actually moved up significantly. And healthcare as a space now has been diversified. It's no longer only the pharmaceutical companies. Now there is hospitals, there's diagnostics. And a couple of these other businesses are doing much better than the pure play pharma companies. So we asked them what is the best play to stay in the healthcare industry. So that's something that we will speak on in on Hot Money today. But the first talk that we want to talk about today, and that is HUL. Now, HUL came out uh, with the numbers a while back, but nevertheless, look at the rally in the stock. Uh, it actually manages to you know, do well, even uh, in, in a trade yesterday when the markets were weak, HUL managed to move up 5%. So, uh, are valuations any bit of concern? Are you, are, are, what are our guests thinking about HUL? Uh, uh, Sangeet, okay, uh, Nermish, is that something that you would, you would agree or you believe that you know, uh, HUL will continue to be a growth stock and should be in a portfolio? See, at current levels, it should not be in your. I mean, you should not be buying fresh. Okay. But if you are buying, if you've already bought, and good ROE is debt-free balance sheet, mm. those companies are getting rewarded. So valuation has taken a back seat. Mm. What has which uh, bit of a price hike? Going forward, it will continue to reap the benefits. Uh, the, uh, the only fact or the caveat being because uh, food inflation has picked up. Mm. So most of the raw material input cost will rise in Q4 and Q1 of FY21 for HUL. So margins will get you know. Complex in that point of view. So that adjustment has not happened in the stock. If you have not bought, wait for a correction to set in and then buy. But it should be there. Okay. Uh, the other one is we're in the midst of the earnings season. We ask our analyst uh, uh, to name one result that probably surprised them. Could be on the positive side or negative side. But yes, uh, it didn't come in as what uh, was anticipated. Dharmesh, uh, obviously, uh, what's your sense? Any result that you know you found that you know didn't come to your expectation or surprised you? So uh, I was positively surprised by the numbers from Maruti. Okay. So being in the large cap space when the entire industry is going seeing a degrowth, so this is the only company which has managed to uh, post a positive growth of the prof profitability mm -hmm. in top line. At the same time, the January sales number of the cars which came again was a y on y growth kind of a scenario. So and you have a you know scarcity premium out there. There is no other listed you know passenger vehicle play. Mm -hmm to the extent of uh, which uh, Mauti operates to mm. give it a competition. So again, like HUL, uh, the scarcity premium will set in. And going forward, I do think that uh, passenger vehicle segment is, you know, bottoming out. So mm. it's a uh, valuation may seem a bit expensive, 35 times on a trailing basis is trading as of now, uh, price to earnings multiple. But uh, my own sense is that for FY21, 15% kind of our growth will come and FY22, it will be 20% plus. Mm. So building that kind of a scenario, I think 25x it is available at FY uh, 22 earnings multiple and with a ROE of 20% and the type of monopoly is enjoys in the Indian uh, domestic car segment, it's a good bet to buy on. So 7,100 7, looks to be a very attractive price to get into it. Okay, 7,100 probably at that level is something that, uh, any, any word on the absence of diesel engines and uh, the competition, is that a cause of concern? So, Yes, yeah, they have stopped that. In yeah. spite of that, they have been able to post mm. a volume growth. Mm. So that speaks about the competency of uh, Maruti as far as mm. capturing market share is concerned. They are also rolling out electric vehicles. Mm. So diesel, I think this will be an industry phenomenon. Everybody would be rolling out their diesel engine the segment. Mm. So it's not Maruti specific. Mm. So but that is not a threat to Maruti. And the best part of Maruti is whenever new launches are there, mm. 60 to 70 percent of the new launches have been a success on the road. Mm. Unlike like Tata Motors or Mahindra and Mahindra, mm -hmm. where the launches are many, but the success doesn't come uh, yeah. to that extent. So they have this uh, advantage to their end. And I think with the Suzuki logo being changed, it also adds some kind of a value proposition kind of a, to the consumers who are buying it. So that has worked in favor of uh, Maruti. So okay. uh, to my mind, it's a good buy on any declines. Okay. Uh, 
And uh, Dharmesh, which one are you recommending? IOS it is. Okay, that's probably the stock of the day. Yeah, but see, see, the point is expendable possibilities. Hmm. So if you look at the business model of IOS it is, they have a virtual complete monopoly over hmm. anything they do. So just uh, leaving a surcharge of the conveyance charge on the ticketing generates 50 crores of revenue per hmm. month. Hmm. So that is 20, 30 rupees. Hmm. Even if you double it, hmm. Consumers will not mind. They will not even know that 40 rupees extra they are pay paying on a ticket of say 1000 rupees. Hmm. And they, this 52 crores will become 100 crores. Hmm. Same is the uh, type of monopoly they enjoy on the catering business. And now even the train which they have launched, they have, uh, you know, broke even. Hmm. So uh, second train has also been launched. And uh, the government of India is already planning, I mean, Ministry of Railways for um, many number of private trains. Hmm. And this, has, uh, this company has taken a lead in that. So with the experience and all, everything will be there. So possibilities are immense as far as, you know, revenue top line is concerned for ISTC. Mm -hmm. It has rallied quite a bit. I mean, 5x kind of a return it has mm -hmm. generated uh, from the listing price. My own sense is next two years it will double from here. Achha. So, positive view that's coming in on IRCTC, the management uh, uh, commentary was also positive. And, and, and in the sector. Okay, Sun Pharma and Alchem stay with the generic pharma companies uh, or the traditional pharma companies. Uh, what's your sense on this, Ramesh? See, I think again, you will see a disruption in this entire segment. Uh, by deception, I mean move from unorganized to organized. And diagnostics business will eventually be merged with hospitals. Hmm. So the bigger hospitals they are, they will take care of the diagnostic division as well. It's a, you know, for hospitals, it's a very low capex business yeah. as far as diagnostics are concerned. And they have already started doing it. Yeah. Like cities like Mumbai, most of the hospitals, they they will ask you a report from their own hospital to look into. Doctors will not uh, see a report if you are taking from a other yeah. outside diagnostic center. So this is going to happen. At the same time, this will add to the margins. The hmm. margins like Apollo Hospital, which uh, they are 18, 20 percent, it will, hmm. uh, I mean, blended margin will go up to 25 to 27 percent if they do the diagnostics as well. At the same time, most of the lifestyle diagnostics, uh, you know, which are happening and, you know, one or two day of kind of hospital visit you do to get a uh, preventive uh, checkup rather than a hmm. cure checkup. So that will take into fashion and institutional business will also come to them. Most of the companies now want their employee to be pre-checked before they join the company. Hmm. So this is picking up the trend. So this will also grow. So if you look at it from current valuation multiple and Excel state, it will never justify. Hmm. But if you look at it from a broader origin, when uh, you know the funding will come and these will explode. So there I think hospitals are the space where one should be you know, investing as of now with a clear sense that the management has the capability to merge the diagnostic with them. So in the present scenario, I think Apollo Hospital looks the best bet out there. Okay, best bet. And remember, Apollo Hospitals will come out with their results today. So that's something that we need to watch out for. Well, and so that is a wrap on today's edition of Hot Money. Let me thank my guests who have come in today. Dharmesh Lancelot and Sangeet, thank you so much for coming in today. Ask BQ comes up next. Stay tuned to Bloomberg Queen.